In this video, I want to talk about um, a couple different concepts um, from that book, um, which highly relate to this philosopher, Sir Karl Popper. Um, this is his awesome book, I think. It's called The Logic of Scientific Discovery. Um, great work in the, in, the, in the philosophy of science. Um, and I guess in this book, I want to, I mean, in this video, I want to, I want to introduce two concepts. I've kind of already introduced one in some of it, in some of it, in some of my videos. But we have the concept of corroboration and, and the concept of falsification. Um, and, the, and the falsification relates to verification. Verification and in, 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 uh, in, uh, falsification are, are, are related to the logical, the logical positivist period in that um, they try to they. That whole movement is, you know, was about um, verifying things that we are going to talk about, and verifying things, verifying things, and, and justifying and finding truth in things and things that we're th saying through our sense data or our observation. So, to verify a statement or a hypothesis is to, um, you know, let's say we have a bunch of scientific data, um, and we look to our observation, we look, we look to, you know, our experiential data, and if the experience, the uh, experience, the experiential data, the experiential data can either confirm the sci the the uh, scientific hypothesis, um, thus you know verifying that, um, or it can um, contradict it. Now, falsification rel relates to this also because um, we try to falsify things. It's a more of a, more of a negative process in that. We are trying, we have a bunch of scientific data, again, and we try to go back to our experiential data and try to put a bunch of tests on all of our, uh, on, on all of our hypotheses. We try to test them vigorously and put uh, experiments on them and try to falsify them. And um, if we have a hypothesis that goes through all these tests and, and experiments in science and stands unscathed. Karl Popper calls that a hypothesis or statement that is corroborated. Um, corroboration is to um, constantly test and, and, do, and do experiments on a certain hypothesis and it comes out fine. It, it, does, it stays fine and it, um, it, doesn't get, it doesn't get falsified. So he's he uh, is, is kind of of the process of falsification and um, you know um, less about basically less about um, inductivism and um, st stuff like that so and I guess um, uh, what, what, what was I gonna say um, we kind of in philosophy of science the whole thing is we um, try to figure out which method to go about and to fit into, you know, um, making sure our, our scientific data is sound, is sound and, and valid, and, well, sound mostly. Um, and Hilary Putnam, he is, is his uh, article in, not, the, not no, one of these books I have here, I don't know what it is, one of them, um, he has an article which is called, which is about corroboration, and he says that Popper's corroboration doesn't really take into account um, what ha what what will happen to a certain hypothesis in, in the future. It takes it takes into account what happens to a to a statement in the past, and it's fine if if in the past it in the past ex experiments and tests it it, it, it comes out fine, um, but uh, it doesn't take into account possible things that could happen in the, in the future, and he doesn't really. Putnam doesn't really like, uh, he doesn't really um, agree with it, and I think that's in where that bow is. It's in this book. This is an awesome anthology in the, in the philosophy of science. Um, I think about what it's called here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's called the, the, the Corroboration of Theories. Um, so I, ha I highly recommend those, and um, I, I apologize for all these little short videos on on the philosophy of science, but I'm just kind of thinking about these things and I want to just talk about them a little bit. Um, so if you have a question or if you, or if you think I've messed some, messed something up, and talking about and talking about corroboration and, fal and, fal and the falsification of 
uh, statements. So, um, or if you have, or if you have, if you have, if you have a question or really anything, comment when, whenever you comment. I, I always get a email. So, uh, thank you.